Today we're going to look at finding quartiles when you have discrete data. Now there's quite a lot of words in here already that need explaining. Discrete data is when data can only take certain values. So for example, discrete data would be the number of pupils in a class at school or the price of a can of drinks. They can only take certain values. The other type of data which you will come across is continuous data and continuous is when you can keep taking more and more and more accurate values. So for example, when you are measuring something, you could say it's 3 centimetres, 3.2 centimetres, 3.27 centimetres, 3.274 centimetres. You could keep going on and on and on and on. That would be continuous data. Discrete data would only take certain values. When you put the data into numerical order, you can then find values which are halfway through the data, quarter way through the data, and these are called the quartiles. And this is what we're going to look at in more detail in this video. The values we'll be able to find are the range, and the range is the biggest value minus the smallest value. We can find the median, which is the middle value. We can find the lower quartile, which is the value defined as the one which is quarter of the way through and is denoted by LQ. We can find the upper quartile, which is the value which is three quarters of the way through the data and is denoted by HQ. And we can find the interquartile range and the interquartile range is the difference between the upper quartile and the lower quartile. So it's the upper quartile minus the lower quartile. So let's think about this set of numbers. 7, 7, 9, 11, 12, 13, 13, 17, 18, 19, 23. First of all, I'm going to give them all a position. If you notice, they're in numerical order. So I'm going to write down their position in the line. That's the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, and eleventh. So we have eleven numbers all together. The easiest one to find is the range. So the range is the largest value minus the smallest value. So it's 23 minus 7 which is 16. The range is quite a useful indication of how the numbers are spread out. But if you have a number which is very different for the others, so if we had, for example, at the end, the value of 67, all on its own, then the range would be 67 take away 7, which is 60. And it wouldn't really tell you how the numbers are spread. So although the range can be useful, it is not always the value which is used. The more common one to be used is the interquartile range when you can forget about any two numbers which are too large and too small in general. Right, if we count the number of numbers again, we've got 11 numbers. So this is our value we have, uh, this is the value of n. And to find the position of the median, we want the middle number. So for the median, its position is n plus 1 over 2, where n is how many values you have got. So in this question, the value of n is 11, because we have 11 values. So the position of the median is 11 plus 1 over 2, which is 12 over 2. We are looking for the sixth number. And if you look, if we count along, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 number, the 6th number is 13. So the median value is 13. The lower quartile is the easiest way of finding it. It's the number which is quarter of the way through. The easiest way to find it is to look back to your list of numbers. Forget about the median, ignore that value, 
and look at the little list you've got left. So you're left with 7, 7, 9, 11, 12 and then find the middle of those numbers. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The middle number will be 5 plus 1 which is 6 over 2 which is 3. So the middle number is the third one so our lower quartile is 9. And that's a nice straightforward way of finding the value of your lower quartile and you can then do the same with the upper quartile. Use the list on the other side of the median. So you have 13, 17, 18, 19, 23. Five numbers, so the position is 5 plus 1 over 2 which is 6 over 2, it's the third number. 1, 2, 3, there's my third number. So the upper quartile is 18. And then the interquartile range is very simply the upper quartile minus the lower quartile, which is 9. And that gives you some idea how the middle half of the numbers are spread. Now, that one worked well because the medium was an actual value, the lower quartile was an actual value, and the upper quartile was an actual value. So let's have a look and see what happens when things aren't quite as straightforward. Consider these values. List of numbers again. 31, 32, 37, 40, 45 and 47. And again, I'm going to write the position underneath just to reinforce what we're doing. That's the first, second, third, fourth, fifth and sixth. So we have six numbers so our value of n will be 6. So the medium position this time is n plus 1, 6 plus 1 over 2, so it's 7 over 2, it's 3 and a half. Now it doesn't actually look like we've got a number in the position 3 and a half. 3 and a half will be where the dotted line is. So you take the value either side of it and you find the average of the two values. So for the median value, the two numbers either side of that dotted line are 37 and 40, and I'm finding the average of those two numbers. So it's 77 over 2, so it's 38 and a half. So my median value is 38 and a half. Notice it's not one of the original list. It's not a value that's in the original list, but that's how you find the median value. Having done that, we can now do the lower quartile. So take the list to the left of the dotted line, 31, 32, 37. The middle value is clearly that one. So my lower quartile is 32. My upper quartile, take the list to the right of the dotted line, 40, 45 and 47. There's the middle one. So my upper quartile is 45. And then the interquartile range is the upper quartile value minus the lower quartile value. So it's 45 minus 32, which is 13. One more with, again, a different um, number of numbers. Suppose this time we have 73, 75, 75, 79, 82, 83, 85 and 85. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 numbers, so my value of n is 8. So medium position, the medium position is 8 plus 1 over 2, which is 9 over 2, which is 4 and a half. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 and a half will be here. So the median value is the average of the number either side of that line. So the median value is 79 plus 82 over 2, which is... 161 over 2, which is 80 and a half. 
Same again, for the lower quartile, take the list to the left. So we're going to use 73, 75, 75 and 79. Again, there's four numbers, one, two, three, four. So the position of the lower quartile is four plus one over two, five over two is two and a half. So two and a half will be there. So the lower quartile is the average of the number either side of that line. Now notice the numbers are the same. So you're doing 75 plus 75 over 2, 150 over 2, obviously gives you 75. And then the upper quartile, use the list on the other side of the line, 82, 83, 85 and 85. The upper quartile is the midpoint, so the upper quartile is 83 plus 85 over 2, which is 168 over 2, which gives you 84. Then the interquartile range is 84 take away 75, which is 9.